And so also on the topic of viral suppression, we have gotten some questions from folks here at the conference ahead yes. of our Facebook Live. And we would love to take additional questions if you can submit those online. And so a conference participant asked, how infectious are you if you are durably virally suppressed? And so I think this is probably the most important question to the HIV at risk community today. Because let's go back and talk about the way the data has been presented on HPTN 052. The number says you're 93 to 96 percent protected. I and mean, that's the way people have been interpreting this data. But if you look closely at the data, um, everybody who was in that group of the early treatment that ended up transmitting to their, their partner had undergone a treatment failure. They had either not fully suppressed or had lost their sense of adherence and had, had rebounded. So the most important number that we can focus on is if you are durably suppressed, meaning you have a repetitive viral load test where it's, it's at or below detection, your chance of transmitting HIV to your partner, assuming you're staying adherent, is zero. I'll say that again. The chance of transmitting, if you are virally, dur durably suppressed, is zero. And I think that's a message that we have to then embrace and then use this as a way of opening the conversation about, uh, it's a way of enhancing adherence. Somebody who is struggling with adherence and their partner says, look, we can change our sex life. We can enjoy sex more. Let's get you durably suppressed. Let's let's and adopt this. Durably suppressed. What does durably, durable mean? Meaning it is you are you are you take up your your medication daily for the rest of your life. You want to be adherent, uh, and this is, becomes part of who you are. Is uh, you take your pills every day, and with that level of, of suppression, and then you had your blood tests. You see your doctor. You fill your prescriptions on a regular basis, but at the end of the day, in that situation, when you're durably suppressed, you can have the conversation about what that means and how you how it can um, revitalize your sex life. 